Hello, it's Saturday the 25th of February and this is your Birmingham News Weekend Magazine. And because it's the weekend, I'll be here with you for the next hour to take a look at what's going on around Birmingham, the West Midlands and beyond. Oh yes, welcome to the Birmingham News Weekend Magazine. Now coming up on today's show, we'll be starting by taking our regular look at what's up on this week's community notice board. Then we'll turn to Carl Jones for his weekend business update. Our intrepid reporters Steve Green and Jason Forrest will join us with some more interesting guests from around the area. A little later on, Carl will be back with his assessment of the latest on the silver screen. And then Johnny Doom will have his pick of the gigs. Plus, we'll remind ourselves what's been going on around our area too. So it's all within the pages of this week's Weekend Magazine. Welcome back to the programme with me, Lee Bannister. Now, Carl will be back again shortly for his regular weekend look at the silver screen. But first, if you were watching last week, you might remember our reporter Steve Green was talking to best-selling horror author Adam Neville about the movie being made of his novel The Ritual. Well, they're here again, and this time they're discovering Adam's literary influences, his determination to never give up the ghost of a career in writing, and the story behind his latest spooky thriller, Under a Watchful Eye. Now, you're actually... Um Birmingham born, you come from this area originally, um, when, you, in, when you were born, anyway, you were, as a young child you were raised in this area. 1969, born in the QE, um, I've just counted up um, 18 of my 47 years I've, I've lived in Birmingham. And but but you escaped others... fairly early, you went down to uh, New Zealand? Yeah, I was taken to New Zealand uh, when I was quite young, my family emigrated and then came back when I was 15. Right, and you came, as you say, came back, and of course that, that's the point when you started writing and uh, writing horror, when you were obviously moved back here. Yeah, it was, it, I mean, I, I, I had a very, very active imagination right from a, an early age. Um, I didn't start writing seriously probably until my mid-twenties. I mean, up until then, um, I mean, a, as a child, um, particularly at school, most of my school reports, you know, they, they said Adam spends all day looking out the window with his mouth open. I was, I was just a born daydreamer. So I had this very kind of restless, very powerful imagination that was, I didn't really have anything to invest it into. I mean, were you and it was when I was at school and I, well, my dad read to me a lot. And then when I was at school and started reading myself, I kind of thought this is something that I can express myself. Were you already drawn towards the dark, as it were, the, 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 the shadows? I was. Um, and it was a culmination of, of key, um, kind of key moments. Uh, one of them, my dad, I mean, my dad read to my brother and I most nights when we were boys and we had everything, C.S. Lewis, Tolkien. As we were getting a little bit older, he read us the ghost stories of M.R. James. He read, he read us Saki, um, lots of L.P. Hartley, John Collier, lots of different uh, classic, I suppose, particularly British, um, writers of the supernatural and the fantastic in fiction. And it was M.R. James that terrified me, but utterly enchanted me. I have to say that when I first began reading Under a Watchful Eye, the opening sequence, I'm not giving it away here, but the opening sequence does take place on a seashore, yeah. looking out towards a mysterious figure, um, which yeah. is the, you know, there's, there's the whole story behind that is completely different to what I expected because I had thought initially this is going to be a supernatural story and immediately I thought of M.R. James. Yeah. I mean, it, and it, then it, you, trick, you go in a whole different direction, which is quite clever. The beginning is a nod, a deliberate nod to M.R. James. M.R. James is in, he's in everything that I've written. He's in my imagination. It had such an impact on me, being, having those stories read to me. And then we listened to the Michael Horden narrate them. We had the cassettes, we used to listen to them in New Zealand in the evening, 
Um, and the Horton, of course, was in that famous adaptation of uh, A Whistle, My Lad, yeah. and I, you know, I'll come to you, my lad. Yeah. So my Which dad... is what he reminded me of, actually. Yeah, it, well, it, it, it is a nod to that, um, to that story. Um, so my dad kind of guided me, and he had a huge collection of horror. Um, Lovecraft and the Arkham House. My dad actually used to correspond with August Derleth for years. Good. He's only got two of the letters left. But he, he corresponded with him from when he was a teenager onwards. So we had this enor he had this enormous library that then I s started to read myself as a teenager. Macken, so, Blackwood. So um, your father was really into it. Yeah, he was he was he, he he introduced me to it and my kind of imagination, my daydreaming latched onto it. And then he kind of guided my reading. And um at school I I took a you know, an A level in English. I went on a, to do an English degree. And I, I, it was around the age of 16, and I thought, probably the only thing that's going to make me not so much happy, but satisfied, comfortable with myself, is if I write. But um, my early attempts were pretty hopeless. I hadn't read enough. I hadn't got enough experience. So it was a goal. Um, and then I, by, by my mid-20s, I'd come out of education, um, had a soul-destroying job in an interesting environment. I worked in tele worked for Central Television for six years up on Broad Street, and I couldn't kind of hold it back anymore. And then I, you know, I took the I took the top off and I started to write, and I've never stopped. It almost it was almost like a, a, a mania when I first started. Um, and I, as I say, I've, I've never stopped from about the age of 23 to now. I've I've written continuously and consistently, and my goal was to try and match what I enjoyed in literary fiction with what I loved about M.R. James um, and Lovecraft and other writers I read as a teenager. And there'll be a longer version of that interview in an upcoming issue of the horror magazine, Fear. And if all this hasn't scared you off, Steve will be back with another report next Saturday. So then, it's time to close the pages of the Birmingham News Weekend Magazine for Saturday. I'll be here with you at the same time tomorrow and then there's more for Birmingham and the West Midlands every day of the week with me at one and then Mike is here at six and nine in the evenings. So that's it for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you back here at the same time tomorrow for our bit.